Hallelujah, praise the Lord. So we thank God for another day in His presence. I hope you had a wonderful day yesterday. Father, we thank you for today. We ask, Lord God, that even as we share in your word, that your glory will come down even mightily in this place. In Jesus' name, amen. So yesterday we started the, the first part of our discussion on David and Goliath and overcoming giants. Our text was taken from first samuel 17 and we read from verse 4 to 23 now uh, we will continue our conversation about overcoming giants today yesterday we identified already three principles that helped david to defeat goliath they were the giants do not make or break us it simply shows who we already are we also found out that victories are first won in the training rooms not in the field and finally, we identify that practicing faith in lesser battles in life are critical ingredients to defeating the giants in our life. Now, we have been able to identify, in closing yesterday, that being faithful in little things in life will be the things that will prepare us for the big issues that will come. Now, let's look at our next big principle to deal with the giants in our life and that is that number four says everyone who is who has never killed a giant will say it cannot be done david faced the first opposition when he started asking about the giant and it was from his brother eliab and to all that opposition simply david retorted all i did was ask a question and after that, he turned away from Eliab and he faced the most important thing, the giant. So you see, the best answer to an opposition is to focus on what really matters. Stop dissipating your energy on the less important things. David knew when to fight and when to run. So also note that if you are not a giant slayer, make sure you do not stand in the way of those who wish to do so or who wish to be one. Praise God. The other principle that David used in defeating the giant is that he never adopted the enemy's method. He never adopted the enemy's method. Note that in trying to deal with the giant, he, he was they initially tried to dress him in the garb of uh, a soldier, but he had not tried it. Those were not his method. His method was that he understood who his God was. So in refusing to fight the battle in the enemy's battle, in the enemy's method, he, he had a great chance to be a witness of God's amazing power. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, scripture tells us, it says, our battle, our struggle is not against enemies of flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. See, in that scripture, we, we, we get to understand that the only way to win the battle is to put in on the armor of God, which includes truth, which includes righteousness, which includes peace, faith, salvation, and ultimately the word of God. Praise the Lord. Beloved, we are not done yet. The sixth and the final principle to defeat the giants in our life is to remember the size of your God. This was the most critical part of David's walk. You see, the reason that the Israelites had been afraid for 40 days and 40 nights was that they were comparing Goliath's size to their own sizes. But you see, there comes in David. That was perspective. From that perspective, they were at class. They could not defeat this man. But David compared Goliath's size with his God's size. So Goliath became a dog. No wonder. Goliath said, am I a dog that you are coming to me with sticks? That's who he was before God. Praise the Lord. You see, that's why it's in Philippians 4 verse 13, we are told that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Hallelujah. And in 1 John 4 verse 4, scripture says, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. See, you need to understand this. But I know it is easy to say this, and then it's so difficult to believe them. But you see, it is that lack of belief, that lack of faith that defeats us. A giant killer has got to be a man or a woman of giant faith, of giant faith. The truth is we have a choice. And we are faced with a question, who are you relying on to defeat your giants? Who are you counting on to carry out, carry your burdens? 
what's the secret to overcoming giants in your life? Now, understood that David understood this, and this is simple. The secret on the, to, to defeating giants is to understand that the battle belongs to the Lord. It belongs to the Lord. So you see, as a child of God, those giants become dwarf when compared to the surpassing power that is at work within each and every one of us. Beloved, this God is awesome. And he wants to walk with you today. So as you go out, do know that God loves you. And he wants to walk with you. And you need a relationship with him for this power to walk with you. So call us with the number showing on the screen. We'll be there to pray with you for counseling, for your testimonies. God bless you as you go out today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.